people. Mighty warriors. Encourage believers. When kings of the land. Possessors of life. We're ready to battle. So watch what. So what you gonna do? Stop on the devil's head. Come on, somebody crush his head. What you gonna do? Stop on the Welcome, welcome to Heavenly Messages. I'm Prophetess Clark, your narrator. I'm so happy you can be with us today in this program. I have some exciting news you might be, that you might love to hear. Praise is unto God. We got a subject today, and the subject is the power of the tongue. Yes, those of you out there who would like to discover what this uh, organ in your mouth is, which is a tongue, how it can get you in trouble, and how it can get you out of trouble. Praise is under God. Well, I have some exciting news for you. We have again, hallelujah, Sister T., and she's the one that comes up with these dynamic subjects. Praise us unto God. So get on the telephone and tell someone. Prophetess Clark is on the air with heavenly messages. Praise us unto God. At this time, I'm going to introduce to you Sister T. Sister T, how are you? I'm great. We're so glad to have you back again on the program. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Oh, praise God. Yes. We enjoyed that last session that you gave us. I had so many telephone calls. Praise is under God asking, hallelujah, for you to come back again. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Praise is under God. Now, dear hearts, what we're going to do today... Um, I'm going to pray and read a scripture, and then I'm going to ask Sister T, hallelujah, to give us a word. Praise is unto God. Now, bow your heads in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. Lord, come and be with us each and every day of our lives. Lord, help us. We need you. We cannot make this journey without you. Help us. Help us to be blessed and to help us to love one another as you have loved us. Oh, dear Father, bless those in the convalescent homes and those in locked behind prison walls. We ask to bless those in the hospital that they may recover, praise us unto God. We ask for the mothers and the fathers raising their wonderful children. We ask for those who are on their jobs, hallelujah, that they'll have a blessed day. Lord, we ask that you bless your people, your ministers, hallelujah, your pastors, your prophets, Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Bless all your, your Christian leaders. We pray for them. In the name of Jesus, cover us all with your blood and bind Satan and all of his tricks back to the pits of hell where they belong. Amen. In Jesus' name, we thank you for your blood, Lord, that covers us that protects us. And Lord, we thank you for Calvary, for you didn't have to die on Calvary for us, but you loved us so much that you died that we may have a right to the tree of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It's so refreshing to pray to the Heavenly Father. Yes. Praise is unto God. Amen. Now, you Bible scholars out there, run and get your Bible and turn to James. That's right. James in the Bible. James 3, 7 to 12. Praise is unto God. 
And it reads thus, For every kind of beast and of bird and of serpent of things in the sea is tame and have been tame of mankind. Uh, but the tongue can no man tame. It is a unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the solitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceeds blessings and cursings. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Do a fountain send forth at the same place sweet waters and bitter? Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, neither a vine fig? So can no fountain both yield salt, water, and fresh. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Dear hearts, our subject today is the power of the tongue. And this is a perfect example in the Bible how the tongue operates. That tongue can curse you. It can also bless you. Praise is unto God. But before we get into our program, let's let's talk with our our guests. Praise is unto God. Sister T, tell us something about you. Well, I'm uh well, one thing I'm glad to be here again today. Okay. And I enjoy the, you know, um what God had put together and brought us together in unity. Yes. You know, to put his word out there and enjoy Praying. I'm an intercessor, Georgia Pray, and, and uh, you know, we're having a Venice Beach Crusade coming up uh-huh. on the 25th on a Saturday with uh, Joanne Daughtry, Disciples on the Move Ministry, and uh, someone can look that up on the website and find out more information about it. And also, um, I'm just here to talk about the power of the tongue, and this is something that we all need to you know, uh, control that tongue. Yes. That tongue is, is it can be on fire as a weapon. Mm-hmm. So we have to know how to know about our tongue, what it can do, and how to be aware of that member of our mouth, the tongue. Yes. Amen. Well, praise the Son of yeah. God. I understand that you're an author. Yes. Tell us something about your book. Yes, I have a book. One book I've written about um, praising God the Father through, through uh, prayer as a Christian book of poetry. And that book have gone global all over the world. Oh, gone global. praise God. I mean, it's a place I never heard of. Mm-hmm. Um, but now I'm writing, um, I still have more books I have to get out. I, The Lord have, you know, blessed me to write a book about my daughter that passed away. Yes. Her name was Shanika Vashon Jones, so I wrote a book about her. And um, so I have to get that complete that it's finished but i have to get it uh the cover on it and get that mm-hmm. out it's about it called the death of a child and um and mm-hmm. i'm writing movie mm-hmm. and i have to you know just a lot of things that god have us doing mm-hmm. you know for the for the uh ministry to put things out there that is good and clean and wholesome Praise is under God. Yes, yes. well how could, if i wanted to get a hold of these books how can i do that Right now, um, to be honest with the person that I had doing my book, yes, I had to find some because they was a Christian uh, publisher, yes, well known with mm-hmm. many books for years, and um, so I'm not no longer with them. They're not out there anymore now. Oh, they're not out there, but they had that book going. It went global, mm-hmm. and so now I have a bunch of them. Oh, I have, okay. I have a bunch. You know, so we myself. can contact, contact you. Contact me because I, yeah. Yeah, I and we can get a hold of that book. Huh? Yes, yes. Praise yes. the Son of God. was anointed because before I finished the book, this church I was in, the prophet always prophesied about this book a lot. He always telling me, God said, this book is anointed. This book is going to go global. He said, um, 
the book is going to be in a convalescent home because they're not going to allow the Bible there and the lady going to open the book. People are going to get healed, delivered because the people working there are going to read the book to the people. Yes. And they're going to get delivered. And he saw an Asian lady being beat by her husband. And when she read that book, everything just stopped. You know, the Holy Spirit was in that book. So it's power in the Word of God, no matter yes. how you put it, it's still power yes. in the Word. So yes. it's, a, it's, it's, it's a miracle how God works Praise with His Word. Praise the Son of God. Yeah. Yeah. I asked you to come on the program, and you gave me a very exciting title The Power of the Tongue. Yes. Yes. Praise us unto God. Yeah. I'm going to turn the the program over to you and tell us, how did you come about this title and what does it mean? Okay, I was just, it just popped in my head. I just popped right in my head. I said, oh, power of the tongue. And it's something we all been guilty of, you know, with the power of the tongue from a kid mm-hmm. coming on up. We all can, um, you know, know about that. It says, and I got here, it said, it's talked about the tongue, how people can use the tongue to bless, to curse. And sometimes people can say negative things over themselves, their children, their family, against their money, their health. So so many ways that we can curse ourselves or curse the family and not aware of what we're saying. Because um, we also can use a tongue to bless. You know, speak blessing on ourselves, our life, our family. We also use a tongue to speak the word of God against the enemy. Yes. We use words to destroy the wicked, destroy the enemy. Mm-hmm. Satan used words against Jesus yes. when he tempted him. And, and uh, after the fast, what did they fast? Jesus used, the Lord used words to create the earth. We use words to defeat Satan. He's already defeated. But the thing that he tried Tell to come against us. Tell us how we can do that. Power. Because Tell us how we can uh, use words and the devil will flee. One way, if the enemy come after you, the word is your weapon. Yes. You can say, uh, first you can, you can plead the blood of Jesus Christ against him and rebuke him because that they're not allowed for somebody to touch the blood. The blood will make them flee the blood of Jesus. Yes. We can also use our weapon, which is a two-edged sword. We can say, uh, Satan, any devil come before me, behind me, around me, I lift the sword of the spirit to cut off your arm on both shoulders. And when you cut off his arm, he's going to drop them weapon. Yes. And you talk about me, I will come to me, and you cut off your head. You can use the sword to cut off his head, cut off his arm, to slay him in the spirit. Because the sword, it does a lot of things. It's cut, pull, uproot. It just moves things. But we can also use uh, con- uh, con- consuming fire. Because mm-hmm. God is a consuming fire. Yes. We can use a weapon of mass destruction against the enemy. Because we are a weapon of destruction with the words. There's so much power in the word. The words can be a weapon of mass destruction against the enemy. Yes. And we command him to flee. So when uh, we use the name of Jesus Christ, that name alone is power. That name is worthy to be praised. That name would have him to bow down. It's every knee shall bow. Everybody shall bow, even the dead, living, you know, everybody shall bow to the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. So if they don't bow, and the people don't bow what they hear, they will bow. Yes. So they, they're going to bow yes. to the name of Jesus Christ. Because mm-hmm. his name has power. And so, because, um, you know, we bow, we praise, we worship, we adore. He's our Lord, our King, our Savior. He's our life. Mm-hmm. He's everything to us. So we love him and he loves us all his heart. And we just worship and adore him. And if anybody out there listening do not love the Lord and a new baby in Christ, every morning get up and say, Lord, you are my best friend. And I love you, Holy Spirit. And then say, I love you. Even if you don't, you keep saying it long enough. Pretty soon you would be false so much in love with God. You'd be crying out, Lord, I love you so much. I worship you. I adore you. I kiss your holy feet. And you will fall in love with him because you will say what you have. But there's power in the words. So you have to say positive thing. So you have positive reaction. You say negative thing. You have negative results. So you have to command your day what you want for your day to happen. I choose to be blessed. I choose to have victory. I choose to be prosperous. I choose to laugh today. I have a joy. No yes. sickness, no devil come near me. Yes. I'm a child of God. Right. So I reign. I have rune, I'm a ruling authority everywhere I go. And everybody cannot lay hold on me, cannot touch me. And I send angels, dispatch angels around me on every side, and they will fight my battle. And so the angel would fight your battle to be around us. Amen. So when you got your armor on, you put that armor on every day, dress on your armor. So if you take it off, put it back on, 
and just trying to seal it on tight. Say, Lord, let me just put my armor on, put on your breath plate, your uh, belt of truth around your waist. Yes. Put your armor of peace, your, your, your shoes of salvation. Yes. Your heaven protection on your head. Get that sword of spirit and your shield of protection. Yes. Let me ask you a question. A lot of people gossip. Mm hmm. Being women, you know, we like to get on the phone and we be talking and gossiping. Mm -hmm. what, what, what does this do to our spirit inside when we gossip, gossip about others, gossip about the soap operas? Many of us do watch them. Yeah. Instead of praying and in our Bible. Mm -hmm. But we're just gossipers. And we, we do that in the church also. Mm -hmm. So is this a good thing or, or should we try to get off of the telephone? Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Let me try to cut that out. Okay. <coughs> yes. Lord, I bind that attack in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I rebuke you, Lord. I know my throat, my vocal cord. I do not attack my voice, my vocal cord. I decree to command and to die out in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. I release the angel, Lord God, Hallelujah. to fight my battle. And Lord God, I am healed and whole. My throat is fine. I can speak. And I speak the word of God. Let the word of God flow through my throat. Lord God, I thank you that you touch me mm -hmm. and restore everything I'm going to try to use. I renounce him. I will not receive not accept it. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know, because <laughs> sometimes I feel... When people are gossiping, okay. their inner man is disturbed. Okay, one thing is that <coughs> I can't believe it. The the um it kinda gets you away from God because and it also kind of do something to your spirit because we're not supposed to criticize or gossip or backlash or backbite or talk about anybody we're supposed to uh, represent Christ where we go yes but we have the nature of Christ so if God dwell in you you're supposed to love your neighbor like the Bible say and love your enemies pray for them that try to come against you so we love them and you know if they have problem with love or problem with gossiping just tell us Lord you know can you just tame my tongue Lord just just help me, you know, break this off of me because I don't want to talk. I don't want to gossip about nobody. Mm -hmm. That is not who I am. You know, I want to be more like you. And Lord, just help me. So if you ask him for something you struggle with, he will come in and help you. Yes, because, you know, I, I find that people will call you on the phone. And I'm talking about God's people. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about the world. I know. They will call you on the phone. Mm-hmm. And they will be talking about Christ and the things of the Bible and thing. Mm -hmm. And then before the, the conversation is over, mm -hmm. they're gossiping. Yeah. They're, they're, they're not praising or worshiping God. Yeah. And the Bible states and in, in the word, everything that comes out of your mouth, mm -hmm. you're going to have to pay for that. I got all that in you me. got to mind how mm -hmm. you walk. Mm -hmm. You got to mind how to talk. Yes. You're going to give in count mm -hmm. of the judgment. This is when this life is all over for every word you say. Yeah. Yeah. That's that that's that will shut anybody's mouth if you have to give an account mm -hmm. for everything that you say, mm -hmm. even those little nasty Christian jokes. Yes. They they they're, they're not of God. God doesn't like all of that. Yes. Gossiping and, and, and talking. You got to watch what come out of your mouth. And you got to walk in love because what you say yes. manifests. Yes. Even when you're joking because a Christian cannot say anything. Because since you have the nature of God in you, if God says the sky is blue, if it's mm -hmm. not blue, it's going to turn blue because he says so. Uh -huh. So we say something. And it's not so, it's going to happen because we say so. Yes. So we can be careful what we say about somebody because we can, you know, hurt ourselves by speaking. Mm -hmm. 
And the one example, there was a lady that came to my church and she was on stage for my the certain certain pastor during that time to pray for her. And he looked at her, he said, he came to the edge of the panel. He said, you know, I'm not to try to embarrass anybody, hurt anybody, but yes. he went back to her. He said, God said, you sick in your body because you put your mouth on me. She's a Christian. Yes. So she was like, had seizures and she was bleeding on the inside. Oh. But she don't know her healing was in, he was carrying her healing anointed in him. Uh-huh. So she had to go to him to get her healing. So you talk about people, you don't know God can send you back to that person. And this might be your healing. That person might be a blessing to you. Because you put your mouth on him, sometimes God gonna send you back to that person, you know. And so we got to be careful who we talk about. So we never know who we're gonna need in this life. So being a child of God, we have no business to talk about anybody in in the first place. You know, that's out of God. Yes. Yeah. But and you know, and also with the tongue, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the prophets now. Mm-hmm. A lot of people go around, they say they're prophets here, they profit that. Mm -hmm. But you have to realize, if if God didn't tell you that, and you Mm -hmm. said God said that, Mm -hmm. you call God a lie. Yeah. And God said a liar will not tarry Mm -hmm. in his sight. Yes. You have to be careful. Mm Mm-hmm. What comes out of the mind, because what comes out of your mouth, Mm -hmm. people will know because it's in your heart. Yes. And when you have an unclean heart, Mm -hmm. you're going to have an unclean mouth. Yes. That's those of you who use those four letter words out Mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. We know what's in your heart. Yes. And you say, oh, but I'm a. I'm a Christian, and then like that. But you talking like sinners. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. You're talking like a sinner. Yes. How can you say you have Jesus in your heart mm-hmm. and your mouth says something else? Yes. Praise God. Praise mm-hmm. God. Yes. Saints, we got to check ourselves. Yeah. Hallelujah on what we say and how we say. Mm -hmm. See, because what you say out there is going to come back to you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Whatever you throw out of there, it's coming back. Now, sister, Mm -hmm. tell me something else about the power of the tongue. Well, the way I got it says, let me introduce to the one member that we had know so much about what we use a lot was the power of the tongue. We are all heard that saying, we heard this saying that sticks and stone may break my bone, but name would never hurt me. That's wrong. Word will kill. Because <laughs> they can say things to kill. Why? Because there's power in the words. And Proverbs 18, 21 says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Praise God. Explain that. that fruit. Uh, explain that to us. We have our time is short, but explain that part to us. Okay, death and life is the power of the tongue. That means you can speak death or life over somebody. So if you speak that and then you respond for that person death because you you curse that person. So that death will be on your hand. So you eat the results of that, the fruit thereof. So that's that's what they put out there that was coming back to them. And it says, Proverbs 15 and 1, a soft answer turn away wrath, but a grievous word stir up anger. People can come in and start something, maybe a lie, keep stirring it up, stirring it up. And next time, you know, get angry and somebody get angry with you or you get, or Chris get angry with somebody. Then they get mad, they get, you know, get angry. But Mm -hmm. because the devil is his job to stir up stuff, keep stuff going. But we got to remember how to walk away from stuff, how to rebuke stuff and and not to talk about things. And says, uh, many times people have a spoken word curse over their family, their finances, jobs, children, husband, wife, church, even themselves foolishly. Mm-hmm. They have even spoken death to themselves and others without knowing what, what effect it would bring upon their lives in the future. Remember, they used the word to create, God used the word to create earth. That's in Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. And he said, let there be light. And there was light. Satan tempted Jesus with his word, and he said, If thou be the Son of God, command the stone to be made for bread. So he's a tempter, and he's a liar. And it says in Proverbs 10, 19, In the multitude of words, they are wanting, wanting no sin, but 
that refineth, his lip is wise. Those who not curse or talk about things, they say that their lips is wise. So they got wisdom by holding the tongue. And James 3 and 6 says, the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. That means full of sin, dark, evil deeds. So the tongue among our members, that is defiled the whole body. And it set a fire, of course, of nature. And it set on fire, fire to heal. Praise so God. that means that tongue, that little member in the mouth mm -hmm. that people use a lot. Don't think about before they speak words can take that person to hell. Yes. Yes. Praise God. But the tongue of no man can tame. It is an unruly, evil, full of dead poison. Yes. And that's a little member have so much power in it. And that's why you also have to be careful what you say. Okay. Yes. Yes. Well, you know. Our time is far spent, but I'd like for you to come back again so we can finish this uh, power of the tongue. It's so many different aspects yes. of this tongue yes. that I just can't cover it all through one program. Yes. Praise is gone. Will you be coming back to yes, the. Oh, praise yes. is under God. Sister T, we enjoy you. Yes. Praise is under God. And. I know the tongue can also bless yes. those. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You know, our tongue is used to even talk to our heavenly Father, which is in heaven. Amen. So it is so important. But saints, I want to say one thing here. Be careful on how you speak, what you tell others. Be careful when you speak words over your little children. Mm -hmm. There's so many mothers out there saying, you're just like your father. Mm -hmm. You'll never be anything. Mm -hmm. Well, you have pronounced a curse on that child who hasn't even started their lives. And you're condemning it. Praise us unto God. And there's so many church leaders Praise is under God that people talk about that hurt them. See, your tongue can even hurt your heart when somebody says something mean and, and not true. A lie which your tongue tells can cause someone's death. So, saints, call me if you're having trouble with that tongue. Call me. Because God can tame that unruly, uh, unruly mouth. Amen. Hallelujah. Be careful what you speak. We are co-creators of God. And those of you who would like to call me and we can talk about this tongue further, my number is 424-204-3222. Again, that's 424-204-3229. And we can talk. Praise is on. We can pray together. Oh, I, I want you to listen to these programs. It's going to be inspirational to your heart and into your mind. But until this time, next time, may God forever keep you the apple of his eye. I love you. Call me. Watch your tongue. Work it out for you. Come on, one. Jesus can work it out. Work it out for you. Do you hear what I say? Mm. Jesus can work it out. Work it out for you.